All right, so welcome back here, everybody. And now we're ready to go ahead and, as you can see, we're inside of ZBrush here. We're ready to go ahead and make our Z tool and begin the process of manipulating our geometry um, so that we can go ahead and get that shape. And it's going to be much easier, like I said, to go ahead and manipulate this inside of ZBrush rather than do it inside of Maya. So let's just come up here to Tool. We're going to go ahead and import our object file which is our sea creature body okay go ahead and just simply import this and you can see where this comes in a at the geometry that we um, created inside of Maya and what I want to go ahead and do is just simply manipulate this and the first thing that I want to go ahead and do here is we'll go ahead and just subdivide it one time so our geometry count here is still going to be fairly low and if we take a look at our geometry tab here, we can go ahead and delete the lower. You can see where the subdivision level on the actual geometry here is fairly simple. So we just need to go ahead and basically use our move brush to manipulate the geometry here. So we'll go ahead and turn on our, our, our off our poly frame here and we'll just simply use our move brush and make sure that we mirror to the other side so we'll just hit X so it turns on our symmetry okay and we'll just go ahead and begin the process here of manipulating our geometry so we'll just start here with the, the body we'll also come in here and start adjusting on the neck as you can see here also start adjusting on the head. Okay. And we'll just basically do what we want. You can always go up a another um, subdivision level if you want to. Okay. And we'll go ahead and just around and start adjusting on our tail too and I'm also using the freehand stroke so I make sure that we get this done properly okay and if you want you can always you know go ahead and use your smooth brush but just make sure that you use it on a um, low amount because our geometry count is going to be low here so we just want to make sure that we don't over smooth it just making sure that we go ahead and try and get this properly blocked down here. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out some of our mouth shape here. And you can see that I'm constantly um, turning around the model and this is because I want to make sure that you know, I get a shape that's, that's going to be easily manipulatable and it's going to make sure that we go ahead and create a shape that I'm going to be happy with. Um, you can always just take your time and if you go ahead and just take your time you should be able to go ahead and get a shape that is proper and nice here. Okay, so we just need to Go ahead and maybe round out the head a little bit there. Okay. And let's say that this is looking pretty good so far, so we might need to thicken up the neck here just a little bit. And um, we might need to thicken up the body here just a smidge maybe round out his back here just a little bit more okay so we'll go ahead and smooth this down as well and I think that this is looking um, pretty good so far so now the easiest way to go ahead and create you know the fins that we need we can always just come in here and um, substitute one of these brushes so let's say we're going to use the inflate brush here and we'll go ahead and just hit S on our keyboard we'll go ahead and use our snake hook 
so we can pull out some of our geometry here. Okay, that looks good. So let's go ahead here and do the back legs, making sure that we're using the freehand stroke. Okay, and we'll go ahead and pull that out as well. So you can see that we have not only the back fins, but we also have the front fins here. And I'm just going to go ahead and switch back to our inflate brush for this. And that would be right here. And we'll just go ahead and switch back to our move brush so that we can go ahead and manipulate this just a little bit easier. And we'll go ahead and jump up another subdivision level here. So now we just need to make sure that we adjust these as needed. sort of, I don't want to say trying to do this quick, but I'm just trying to do this in a way that um, we can get these fins basically properly placed. Okay, so we'll just need to probably pull these out just a little bit more here. Okay, and you can go ahead and smooth those down. And just try and refine the shape a little bit here. Let's also go ahead and do the front ones here. And I'm just trying to make sure that we get the shape the way that we want in here. go ahead and actually take a look at our geometry here and I'll just jump down to our low subdivision level. You can see where the actual geometry isn't necessarily um, the best looking here but I'm not going to worry about this at the moment simply because I'm going to go ahead and do a retopology um, whenever I have the shape manipulated to the point where I want it. Okay. So you can see if you just play around a little bit here, you can get a shape that you should be able to be happy with. Okay, so we need to go ahead and do our tail here. So we'll go ahead and just shrink our brush down. And we will go ahead and just try to round this out a little bit. see there. Okay. And yeah, we'll just jump back here to the body. And, and I'm just roughing in a pass um, for our body. And we'll also focus here on the on the mouth. Just making sure that this is you know what I want here. If need be, I'll go ahead and um, adjust this off screen too, just so I can, you know, manipulate the shape a little bit more. Um, and, and there really isn't any science to it. You just simply have to go in and just continually play with the mesh until you get a shape that, you know, you're happy with. And I think I'm happy with that. Um, we need, we may just need to adjust this a little bit more. So, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is okay. And then in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and come back and continue working on uh, most of the body mesh to try and refine the shape a little bit more. Um, so, yeah, just come on back and continue watching.